Hello, Internet. Julie here with another Burn and Learn, and it was Grinch juice again today. Oh, delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Burn and Learn, for those of you who don't know, is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it, and I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. And today, I've sort of failed in the sweaty part because... I got up kind of early because I couldn't sleep last night because it's the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year, all you do is worry about everything and freak out about things you've done and freak out about things you need to do and just general lie in bed panic and I just hate it. Um, but I couldn't sleep, so I leapt out of bed and I raced downstairs and I did my 45 minutes on the, uh, on the torture device. Um, then I made uh, Grinch juice. Is my Grinch juice for everybody. Um, and uh, lovely Maria's here helping clean up because we had people over for a post New Year's sort of drop by during the day yesterday. It was just lovely. People just would come by. And it's just an amazing selection of people in our lives. Like, you know, old, young, uh, you know, just uh, with kids, without kids. Just, yeah, fantastic. And then I got to catch up with some, some old friends of ours um, in the evening, which is, which is very nice as well. And it's just, it just, it's a good sort of recharge. But then weirdly, yeah, after all that, I'm like, my, just my head is just going like a million miles an hour. Um, I don't really drink anymore. So, um, and I, I guess that would sort of quiet things down for me at night. But, um, so now I just have to, I just have to figure it out. I have to lie there and figure it out. Um, uh, which is kind of good to get more done, I find. But anyways, so Bruno Learn is done. I've been doing uh, more of this uh, Steam Makers book, which is, God, it's like a treasure trove. If anyone is into this stuff, this is the book to get. You've got samples, you've got the case studies, you've got a million links for resources and, and information and, and in the States, all kinds of grants and stuff like that. So just, uh, I'm, yeah, it's fantastic. And the, and the thing they were talking about today, which was, which is interesting to me, was that they were saying how st we've been, you know, we've been siloing all of our education. So everything is in, it's like math, geography, all different silos. Um, and then we're trying to pull those together with STEAM, but we're doing that by having a separate STEAM lab that people go off to for 45 minutes a day, or they do a lunch program or an after school pro program. How do we integrate that kind of learning process into the general learning process? And then how do you balance that with this, with these requirements for, for, for testing basically where they're, where you have these, these sort of standardized tests that everyone has to take and, and you do have to obviously prepare the kids for that stuff. Otherwise, you know, there's no way to track it. So they then start talking about how do you track where you're at with the learning? And they started talking about badges. So it's kind of like going back to the old uh, Cub Scout days for me, where you'd have to, you'd have to, you know, so do a little sewing to get your sewing badge or an electronics badge or any of that kind of stuff. And they're saying how there's this big resurgence in this, both in a virtual badge sense, like where you can earn them online, um, or even just, you know, actual physical badges and that the kids can get very excited about the process of that. So I thought, mm hmm, maybe there should be some badges because I've got this year for Tech Terrors, I've got kids who've been doing it for now almost. I guess almost three years, um, and uh, you know, just on and off a little bit. So we, as I say, we've only had like forty-five minutes at lunch. Um, but should I maybe make those guys ambassadors for the rest of them? So the kids who've done this before could maybe, you know, be given like a little status that allows them to uh, help out the kids who are just starting out and help me with the kids who are just starting out. Because I got a lot of kids this year. I got like twenty kids, um, and a couple of kids who are who are really smart, like great kids. But they're they're definitely more. Uh, they're going to be more work, shall we say, than some of the others. So um, I'm curious to see what kind of projects we could get them working on. One of the things they suggested in this book was like, there was, someone was designing a garden in their class and stuff. And I thought, what if we designed a steam stem lab? Like, what if I said to the kids, like, what would you like in your, like, in, you know, in your dream lab? What would be there? Because it would be a great insight into what the kids are interested in as well as a process of them actually having to sort of build something. So, um, so I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna talk to, I'm actually having a meeting with the fabulous um, uh, teacher and librarian who, uh, who, is, who is basically the reason I'm able to do this um, at the school. And so I'm gonna meet with him on Thursday. We're gonna have coffee and, uh, and, um, and figure out what we're doing, but I'm gonna run that by him because I think that might be a nice way to sort of tie everything together and have them have something to sort of show off at the end of it. So anyways, there you go. Uh, that's it. Um, so until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I Grinch. Woohoo, cheerio.